Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Live Stream Sunday. Ooh. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend. It was 80 degrees, 81 degrees, I think. was. Yeah. Well, at least that's what the car said. It finally got to warm up. <laughs> it did. Seems like it wants to warm up, then it gets cold again. It no. Warm up, it's cold again. And we've had a lot of rain, but the mm -hmm. last couple of days have been amazing. Of course, we went to the springtime parade. It was a lot of fun. That was fun. But uh, hopefully, yet, yet again, and hopefully everybody has had a good uh, weekend. I am super excited. Uh, we have a lot coming up this week. We have the Rod Run in town. I know a lot of folks are like, oh, Rod Run. And the opening of the Dollywoods uh, Flower and Food Festival. So we're, we're excited for that. And uh, we got some folks coming in. Hi, everybody. And, uh, hello, hello, hello. Hi, Matt. He's always the first one in here. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Hey, Annette. Hi, how Matt. How are you doing? Oh, Hi, Smoky Mountain Cats crew. Hello, hello, hello. What's a beautiful day in the Smokies? Austin, Jim. Hi, Jim. There Hi, Carrie. Hi, Sorrels. <laughs> Koala Bear. Hello. Carrie's in here. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Koala. Footprints in the Pines. G. Yeah. Con McConnell. Hey, uh, McConnell. Hello. How you doing? Tucker, How you doing? Country Boys Vlogs, Dan. JM, Smoky Mountains fans. Hi, Kimberly and Ken. One Sheila, ring and Gary, and soulmates. How you doing? It's great to Hi, see you all. Hey, Bill, Art, Big Art. You know, this is Sundays are my favorite day on YouTube because we get to talk to you all and see what's going on. Hey, Sheila and Perry. I see one ringing dingies in here. Dan, hello. How are you Hi, doing soulmates. this evening? Teresa, Angie. Blue's mom. Blue's mom. Hello. Denise and Michelle Becky. White. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, Janet. Know. Oh, gosh, everybody. I recognize hey, all these Brown. names. Hi, Maria and Blondie. It's the Ventures well, and Matt and Jen's Travels and Deborah. Thank, thank you so much for uh, spending your, your Sunday with us. We really appreciate every single one of you. And, uh, yeah, we are we got a lot of exciting things uh, coming up. I'm super excited for it. It's been kind of, like, in the works. So, uh, Marie says... Uh, Hello, Marie Bruzowski. Uh, Hello. Hi, Haunted Hilltop. <laughs> Missy Langdon. Hi, Missy. Live stream on Sunday. Yeah, the best day of the week. Hi, from Captain Jones. Yeah. Hi, Eddie Stemman. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Kathleen and Gullimar and Paul22 yeah. and Dorothy. Hello. Liz and Blue Mountain. 80s in Ed's North Carolina. Griffin. Eddie Stedman's in here. Yeah, 80s in North Carolina. That is awesome. That is. Gosh, weather was great today. Hopefully, mm -hmm. everybody got. I got some grass cut. Some grass cut. I got one section of. Grass it looks cut. good. You did a good job cutting. I have some weed eating, some trimming, and stuff that around. Um, but yeah, has anybody got anything interesting coming up? You guys all want to share? You guys have any great trips, uh, plans coming to the Smokies? You guys got any cruises? You guys got. You guys going like overseas or anything or uh, hi beach Marcy time? Lynn from Pennsylvania. Hello, hey hi, Sean, Sean from Orlando. Hey, how you doing? Oh, pancakes, JC. Ooh, yeah. they sound good. Yes, chocolate chip pancakes are the best. Or blueberry. Hello from Pennsylvania, Margie Lynn. Hi, how you doing? Gosh, well, guys. Uh, yeah, other than it being good weather, and we're looking at the Rod Run this week. Uh, in fact, the Rods are already in town. Yeah. In fact, we were up there today. I, there was a lot of Rods in town already. Um, and so if you guys are coming to town, pack your patience in, in, in the Forge. But, you know, if you're coming to town, you can go Gatlinburg. The National Park isn't too crazy with cars. You know, there's still a lot to do here. Don't let the Rod Run scare you off. Just kind of, you know, kind of steer away from Pigeon Forge, I guess, is the... Uh, thing and and if you like rods, well then guess what you're in you're in for a treat. Uh, Thirty four days and you'll be in Gatlinburg. Um, Jim Town says that's great. Not too far. Th Thirty four days is going to go Hi, by Simon pretty and quick. Connie, Judith, uh, Bob, you'll be there in seven soulmates. will be there in seven weeks. Oh wow, counting them down. Christmas Inn is awesome. It, it's like the breakfast there is. Hi, traps um, and trains and trails. Um, going to Savannah, Georgia. And, um, Never been. Oh, Savannah is great. Uh, take your time. Uh, try to do a, if you're in ghost tours or something. Try that. I I, I want to do. It. I want to try it. There's a lot of history tours. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Orchard Hill. Hey, from Orchard Hill, Georgia. Hello, Mary. How y'all doing out there? It's great to see you guys. 
Blondie, thank you so much, Blondie, for all the kind words. We really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for all oh, the kind Andrew words. Oh, Andrew really... Sue's brother just slept on a cruise on the Carnival Conquest. That sounds Ooh. fun. I've been looking at the uh, the Carnival. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get my Carnival ships mixed up. We've been Hi, looking Tracy. at a cruise on – it's one of their newer ones. Oh, gosh. Um, Mardi Gras. Is it Mardi Gras? Yes. Chris. Is it Mardi Gras? Maryland. I could be wrong. It's not Mardi Gras. Sheila and Perry. Anyways, it is a... Oh, Sheila and Perry, Route 66 from Albuquerque to Las Vegas in two weeks. That's Ooh, so wow. exciting. Oh, you're going to have fun. Make sure you be aware of the Albuquerque part. <laughs> I heard that there's a lot of... Um, like, well, we know that there... Yeah. Well, when we were there, just make sure you get a good hotel to stay in, in Albuquerque. <laughs> don't plan it last minute. Plan a little bit out a couple days. And don't do it during the balloon festival either, which happens oh, in the fall. Oh, you just got back from Nashville. Hi, Amy Williams. Oh. Hey, Lonnie, yes. Lonnie, thank you. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah, everybody's in here. Um, Farmer Brown, hello. Hello, leaving on the Wonder of Seas next Sunday. The so home. excited to have a sloth and Rotan Honduras. Ooh, that sounds exciting, Honduras. Christy. I've been looking at Honduras and Belize uh, cruises, too. Hi, Dawn W. Um, you guys are... Uh, let's see here. Um, Route 66. Ooh, that sounds great. Any plans to go to Cedar Point? Ah, uh, yeah. I Zach, we're going to probably go eventually because it's on our way to Michigan. Um, and I, that's the park I grew up going to. Also, I'm I'm going to ride the Top Thrill Dragster, too. Uh, it's, wow. So, I, no, so here's a story. Opening weekend of Top Thrill Dragster back in... 2001 or two, I can't remember. I went for the opening weekend. I didn't go for opening day, but I went like the day after. And I waited all day. It was, it was like one of the times I went to your point and waited in line all day. Breakdowns, rollbacks. I got to ride Top Thrill Dragster. So we were launched off, got all the way to the top, and it stopped and rolled back. <laughs> I often think that me and my buddy, you know, we're bigger guys. So we're like, yeah, we're the ones that made it roll back. So I did experience a rollback on, on it. Uh, it's when the ride doesn't. So they don't get you. They don't get you off the ride. You get to go do it again till you go over. And then the second time I, we went up and over. And and so I got to experience it back in, I think it was 2001. Hi, Timothy Farmer. 2002, I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyways, I want to go and see the new the new one. Hello, heading to Hawaii Sunday, Rachel. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Hawaii. That's exciting. It's doing great. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, you're in New York right now. Pixie, Pixel, Pixie Dust Traveler. You're in New York, New York City, or just New York State? That is awesome. I love New York City. I know not everybody's like, why do you love New York City? I like it. It's great. I wouldn't want to live there, but I like to visit, you know, for a few days. God, so much great things there. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I would like to live there. But I'm more of like an outdoorsy more, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Hi, 25,000. Amy Williams from Connecticut. We are doing great it's great to have some friends from the great state of, I think, yeah, Connecticut. Yes, I love Connecticut. It was fun. We we spent the we spent the night there, and then we got to go. We did the Pez, and we oh, there's some, there's a couple of videos we shot in Connecticut that we never released. I don't know if I ever released them. I don't know. I don't know why we never released them. Sometimes videos do like fall through the crack and never make it back. I don't know. Things happen, and we just don't get to them. Uh, Daytona Beach, Florida, Oscar is from. Daytona is fun. I grew up, that was the, you know, I grew up going there. Um, oh, your Melanie's going to go to the Maria, Anna Maria Island, Florida in mm -hmm. July with my daughter and son in law and two grandkids and son. Uh, and then Orlando for a few days visit. It sounds fun. Susan says, What are the pros and cons of living in Sevierville? Um, the pros are awesome. National Park in your backyard. Uh, taxes are low. People are nice. The, there's the hospitals are are amazing. The, the ambulance service, the fire departments, the library uh, service, just everything. 
this town's got everything because of tourist dollars. It, it you know it helps the community. Uh, always something going on. Always uh, a festival. You know what I mean? Rod runs, whatever. There's always something going on. Um, I would say the con for anything in this area is traffic, um, but you get to learn as a local when to, you know, what time to leave when. You always give yourself more time to get there and all that. And you learn to live with it, and it's not as bothersome as you think. Other than that, I love this area. It is amazing all the way through. I, I, there's a thousand likes to the one dislike, literally. Uh, but good question. Good question. Uh, I want to go back to Where's Valley Chairlift. Yeah, I need to go back to the where Where's Valley uh, Chairlift. Oh, gosh, what's the name of it? I can't recall the uh, eagle, the hawk, the hawk no, lift, an eagle. E hawk's Maybe it's hawk. nest, hawk's lift. It's been a while. Let me go back there. Did I hear about panda bear? I don't know what you're talking about, panda bear. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know I don't know. It's not ringing a bell with me. Hello, Tony Five. Hey, Tony, we saw you riding in the parade. Did you see that? Yeah. We saw you riding in the parade. <laughs> I go, you must have took the place of uh, Cal, uh, Cal Ripken Jr. there for a few minutes, did you? He looks, he looks a lot like him. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't even worry about that at all, period. Um, we just got back. Missed you guys. Love it. Well, thank you so much. Plan. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Good evening. Hey. Kelly, okay, I'm back on here. Harper Brothers, yes, Harper Brothers is where it's at, but the name of the lift, I forgot the name of it right off the top of my head. A road trip this summer. You, oh, you're going to do a road trip this summer, Sharon. We're at 66. We do have a big road trip that we're planning. Um, and uh, we're going to have you guys help us a little bit. In other words, what we mean by that is... Tony said no one was supposed to know it was me on that cloak. I know. He, he fills in. Cal, Cal's a busy guy. But Tony fits in and people don't even know. That's strange. <laughs> uh, Tony says he's better looking than Cal Ripken. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what he said. And he's a better ball player. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know about the... Well, he is an Iron Man. Now, Tony is an Iron Man. Tony 5000. He's an Iron Man... But not a baseball. It's other things from what I'm hearing from a lot of folks. Just saying. What's, um, <laughs> what's they right. do in Helen, Georgia? Helen, Georgia is really cool. You can spend a day, a half a day, more realistically, a half a day, depending on what you're doing. Um, it's a great stop when you're on your way to the Smokies or um, or if you pair it with like some hiking or waterfalls oh, in the thank area. Thank you so much, Timothy. I see so, your comment. Hey, Timothy. Just found you guys. We're on Adventures of the Seas next weekend. Your videos mm. help tremendously. Oh, that sounds like fun, B Boston. We loved it during New Year's Eve. Uh, it's a great ship. It's an older ship, but guess what? You won't, you cannot tell the difference. You know what I mean? It's like brand, you know. Uh, I loved it. Uh, yes, you're going to have a blast. Um, any suggest? just enjoy yourself, really. I mean, you know, enjoy yourself. Uh, get checked into your room and go get grab a you know bite to eat or something and uh, and then oh yeah by the way I think we were late you know doing our um, our mustard drill we were the last ones on the whole ship to, they didn't they didn't call our names though but we he says we were like one of the last ones to I was making YouTube videos and Don's like you better get down to that mustard drill. they're not gonna leave port yeah and so we were the guy did say we were like. The last ones to muster in. So muster, muster. mustard, mustard. Right? mustard. <laughs> I want to call it mustard. Mustard. Yeah. So don't don't be that. <laughs> Hi, Stephen um, Veronica. My brother, my brother lives in Jackson, Tennessee. All right. Cruising on the Vista in June. The Vista might be the one that I was looking at. Okay, so the Carnival Cruise that I'm looking at goes to Half Moon K, and then it goes to Amber. Cove, which I know is the Dominican Republic, and then it goes to the Turks and Caicos. That's the one I'm looking at. Very reasonable. We've never been on Carnival, and it's one of the cruises that we're looking at. Um, but it won't just be us on this cruise. There's going to be some other surprised 
surprise guests. If we do this, Chris, we haven't booked nothing. We're just talking it out right now. Um, there'll be some other surprise guests on this cruise with us. So the blue man. <laughs> I like the, the blue man. You guys remember the blue man from the MSC? It was cruise? interesting. I told Don one of these days we're going to be doing something. He's going to pop up. Yeah. Right? I mean, he's going to be like, oh, there goes the blue man, right? I just saw you hit a bad case of vitiligo like I do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that they have a vitiligo Barbie doll? Yeah. Have you guys seen cool. that? So, you know, don't, you all know that Dawn has vitiligo. That's where you lose the pigment in your skin. You know, and there's no cure for it. You know, Michael Jack, a lot of people have You can it. take cream for it, but you're not guaranteed it'll work. There's a, there's a famous lotion. TikToker with millions and millions of subscribers. She's got it. She's I think there's a, a, a model, a top model that has it, yes, too. Yes, a bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch yeah. of people have it. Anyways, they have a Barbie out now. Vitiligo That's kind of cool. And they have Barbies for everything. I, mm -hmm. I saw, uh, you know, they have Barbies to represent, you know, all the beautiful uh, children that God creates i saw down syndrome i saw i think they have psoriasis as barbie too do they i thought so <laughs> they, they have one for everything no uh, anyways that was really interesting also as well uh, nice weather but dogs oh we gotta sing mm. happy birthday to bethany happy birthday bethany happy birthday bethany i think we do got some birthdays in here big bears family is the best family i know no actually they're 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 not well, they're they're good. They're good. Ken got to try the new Blue Moose today in JC. Yeah. Very Ooh. crowded. Where's yeah. JC at? Uh, Johnson City. We went oh, by Johnson it. City. when we were up there. We went. It wasn't open, but it, we went by. It it. Sounds good. Yes, it's right there mm -hmm. on the main strip with all the restaurants. But yeah, it's great to see you, Big Bears family. Hi, Big Bears family, and Roy and Maria. And... I love your videos. Well, thank you so much, Timothy. We really we, thank you so much. Went to an Orioles game today. Oh, you? your granddaughter has vitiligo too, Marilyn Poodle Mom. Yep. She had to get that Barbie for her. There is a Barbie. I thought you can get it at Walmart. Well, they but did, but I, they're, they're. I think they might be sold out. Those Barbies are selling like hotcakes because yeah. they're 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 showing true life people the way people the way God makes them, not the plastic, not the. They're showing people I was the way sure there was a cure for it or something. But I know Amazon, you can pick those up. So if you can't find it, you go to Amazon, punch in Vitiligo Barbie, whatever, it'll pop up. Uh, How are the bifocals okay. working out? Uh, I'm still getting used to them. <laughs> I like them a lot, but I'm still trying to, you know, uh, I'm still just a little trying bit. to get They're used not to bad. It. I just. I prefer not. Mm. I'm sitting in a room and I can just. It's like right there. So yeah, Helen is a yeah. mini Gatlinburg. The thing with Helen Georgia, there's a lot to do. It's a lot of fun. Um, but to spend like all day for me, I'm just being honest with you. Um, it's small, very small compared Happy to like birthday pool stink area. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, so you know what I mean. Excuse me, Gabby has been a You're gonna get about half a day or so. We had the blue got it too, uh, Gabby food. Granny. Oh, wow. Oh, you were here in Pigeon Porch today, Smoky Mountain Cats crew. That's awesome. My birthday is 8th day of the month, Timothy. If Barbie, I would have known that, we were up in, in Pigeon Forge today shooting videos. You know, yeah. We were, um, we were on the parkway. <laughs> That's where we were. We did something kind of fun. <laughs> we did We did something really cool today that we didn't normally do. and I um, actually it was fun. liked it. Yeah. I, I was shocked. Yeah. So those videos will be coming out yeah. shortly. Um, yeah. Um, Adventures of the Seas. You're gonna have awesome B Boston. Oh, I'm I'm excited for you. You know, you gotta go to the wind jammer. We were talking about mm -hmm. the you don't need a you know, you don't need a cruise, you don't need a room on a cruise ship. You gotta figure out a way to sneak on board, which could be probably almost impossible, but you just set up a little corner in in in, in the uh, wind jammer and you're all set. <laughs> We were, we were just joking around today about the wind jammer. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Howdy doody. Hi. Going to Florida next week. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Florida. I oh, don't see here. Are you two uh, at the uh, Volkswagen show first weekend of May? Um, dope beats. I don't know. Uh, first weekend of May is Dawn's mm -hmm. birthday. So I, we're, we're going to be doing something probably crazy. So there's no guarantees on the Volkswagen show. I have been to the, Vol the Volkswagen show before. Goldsboro, North Carolina. Lisa's in the house. Any birthday plans? Uh, yeah, I got some some secret plans for Dawn for her birthday. But they're you know can't let Dawn know what they are. Right? It's got to be a surprise. 
<laughs> uh, we're we're going to be having some fun, guys. Uh, so here, howdy doody. How are you going to Florida? I know a guy who stowed away on a cruise ship when he had nowhere to sleep. He got caught. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I wouldn't suggest sneaking I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> you could live in, in the, in the um, you know, in, in the, the wind jammer. The wind jammer, right? <laughs> got everything you need. You know, the guy will come up. If you fall asleep, the guy will come up and say, are you okay? And then he'll ask you if you want cake, right? Uh, yeah, surprise or yes. We got some some things coming up. Um, there's some surprises coming up. So I uh, need to spend a half of the day in Helen. Yeah, half a day in Helen. Yeah, you know, don't just like Helen is not oh, a full day. You, Good evening from Pair Massachusetts. It with something. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, Timothy Farmer. You know, we have such a great community here. Everybody goes in there and people ask questions about things and people will jump in. They'll say, hey, I suggest this. You know, and it's always great to see that. Hi, Mothman. Uh, Mitch is from Wisconsin's in here. Hello, Mitch. I see your comment, Pustank. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mothman Festival. Us going to Mothman Festival, too far off yet to make a decision. But if I'm not mistaken, Mothman happens during one of our biggest subjects we cover on the channel. I don't know which one it was. but And it seems like it's hard for us to get to the Mothman. But you never know. Maybe we can uh, figure something out. Hi, Black Sheep. Curtis Family. Hi, my crazies. We got uh, uh, Michelle Talks. Hello, Michelle Talks. How you doing? Hi, Eddie. Black Sheep. Hello. Heather Lewis says, yeah, sorry for your loss of your dog, Bill. You know, it's hard. They're hard. You know, they come so much part of, you know, we're still, there's still days. Um, I was looking at videos of, of, you know, puppies and, you know, it's hard. It's really hard. Well, thank you so much, Marlene. We really appreciate it. I love it when you all went to the went to the parade in the Greenback Castle. Greenback Castle, I know a lot of folks were saying it's really creepy and it's not a place that they would want to go. But you know, Junior, he was a really, really nice guy. Yeah. Um, he he's very welcoming, very friendly. Um, and so if you do go, you know, you're gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, I can understand how people could be, you know, uh, it's a little different than normal, you know, places you would visit, but we like to experience everything. Also, you know, uh, Tennesseans, you know, there's so many, you know, different folks, uh, different, um, you know what I mean? Different creativities in this state. The state is just amazing. And, and he's just, he's just one of the many interesting people in the state. So. Yes. Uh, are you guys becoming to Illinois uh, this year? Okay. So there is a good chance if the road trip that the thing that we're planning out, um, that probably won't happen uh, for yeah a couple more months. But we are planning to um, – we're planning on it. But it's one of those things where – you know, we got to make sure the bu budget and everything else hits hits right, and the time and and, and everything else. Um. Uh, yeah, we probably will be in Illinois. Um, we'll probably be in Wisconsin. Oh, I shouldn't be touching my. Eyes. We will probably be in Minnesota, and then a, a bunch of folks from there. Um, Ken has vetiligo. Oh wow, Ken. In the, is there a Ken in the chat, or is it a Barbie Ken that has uh, a vetiligo? Do you like apple pie? Who don't like apple pie? Uh, yeah. Any plans to come back to Hershey? Uh, Co Coaster Mom, I, I would like to, maybe if you're up, you know, I know you live up, or you're up that way. Um, yeah, I would like to, and if we do, I'd like to maybe meet up with you. Uh, most likely... We will probably make a trip to Hershey sometime this coming up year. 
Uh, cause we got some friends up there too, that we want to uh, meet and it's been, you know, spend a, a day or so with. So, uh, I could see that being a possibility. Uh, it's about, about nine, 10 hour drive one way for us. So. Um, there's a new restaurant opening in Alcoa, Kickback Jacks. Anybody ever heard? I have never heard of that, Heather. Um, I'm interested. Um, Timothy we, said we should go to the Build a Beer Workshop for Dawn's birthday and Island of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh -huh. Build a Beer Workshop. Um, that would make a good vlog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's here. It'd be awesome to meet you both. Yes. Hi, Melissa. I would B. love to meet you, Coaster Mom. Uh, my mom lives about two miles from Hershey Park. Um, Melanie says, "Wow, well, yeah, Hershey Park is is really I think it's one of the better parks out there, um, small parks, and it, it's got some of their old school rides still there, and it's a lot of fun. It seems like they have a ride for everyone. They got thrilling rides, and then they got, you know, it seems like something's for everyone." Mary Jo Cole, hello, Barbie boyfriend Ken. Okay, so Barbie boy, boyfriend Ken has got it too. So they have Bar uh, Kens that have it. Oh, huh. well, we can make him build a beard and match me and Will. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, cards. Okay, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. We got until about 8 o'clock-ish. <laughs> hey, play us here. What else we got going on? I can't wait to see the Christmas in pool. Yeah, it's see, they're still working on that pool. I have seen a few of the elements. Um... That's going to be one heck of a pool. I mean, that's not your average pool there. Uh, it looks very, very wild and interesting. So I'm, I'm, we might have to book a date to go and, and stay the night and, and check that pool out. Hey, Deb, how you doing? From Mountain Lake, Minnesota. We will. We were talking about doing some. Oh, hi, Mary. I see your comment. Thank you. So here's the question for folks living in Wisconsin, and this is a qu question we're probably going to ask when we do our road trip. Um, what are I know in Wisconsin we're we're going to do Milwaukee. We know we're going to do Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend at least a day in Milwaukee. Yeah, uh, we're going to do Wisconsin Dells. But what else should we do in Wisconsin? Um, also, uh, Minnesota. Now, I think we're going to head to Minneapolis, um, Mall of America. I, we were talking about maybe going to the Mall of America. Mm -hmm. But what what else do you guys suggest? I know we have a lot of folks that live up there. Um, what do you guys suggest for us to do or up there? Um, but we'll probably ask that question again, like on the road, because, um, you know, I got we got a list of things we, we were looking at, but we were just kind of wondering, like, is there anything cool or hidden, right? Uh well, thank you, Tony. Build a uh, a bear penguin. Okay, I that sounds fun. It does sound fun. <laughs> Wonder why they got the big mixing bowl thing with like an animal, and it mixes the fluff. <laughs> Just probably to keep it from not sticking to each other. Maybe we have been to Williamsburg, but we have not been to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. So. It's one of your favorites. Yeah, there's a lot in Virginia and stuff I have we have to do. Um, there, Virginia is a huge state. Uh, North Carolina is another state that that's just a big state. They're a big state. They, you know, they, you start getting in. There's a lot, a lot mm -hmm. to go, a lot to see. Um, you spend years, literally, you know, just exploring them. You gotta make me blueberry pancakes for my birthday, Will. Mm -hmm. Would you guys uh, go explore abandoned places, haunted places, etc.? Um, as for abandoned place, uh, abandoned places, because technically, unless you get permission to go into the abandoned place, you can't really do them. Technically, you're videotaping yourself, trespassing and and breaking in and all these and all these things. And uh, a lot of times, you're going to go to the you know the Huskow. Um, as for haunted things, we are interested in some like haunted tour like things. We did one in um, yeah. uh, Gallenberg, yeah. and it was pretty. Fun. We got some friends that are in the paranormal that have. I don't think I would like it, but I, I actually enjoyed yeah. it. There's a lot of history. The history part of a ghost tour 
is a lot of fun. You learn a lot about, you know, the stuff, stuff that normally isn't talked about in other historic, you know, walkthroughs and stuff. Uh, but as for like that, yeah, um, we're game for that. We also have some friends that are paranormal and they've invited us on some paranormal investigations. Now, to me, the only spirit is the Holy Spirit. So <laughs> I have never, there's been a couple times where like, okay, it's unexplainable. Uh, in fact, out there at the Advent cabin, there are some very weird, and I saw, I saw, I thought, I, I thought I, I thought I saw a putty cat. No, <laughs> um, I thought we saw some shadow thing. Yeah. It was really weird. It's very scary. That was kind of creepy. I would not go to, to the cabin at night. Um, also, Elkmont's kind of scary, scary in general, in ge just in general. But anyways, um, especially at night. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm more game. We're game for some things. So we're very open to a lot of things. Um, you know, we're very open people um, when it comes to things. But I'm a person I like to be convinced. You know, show me, show me. You know, make make me make me understand. Uh, you should go to historic Williamsburg, Missy. We did, we did. Now we didn't get uh, like it, we need to go back and kind of get deep because, of course, you all know. Historic Williamsburg is is huge. There's a lot there to do. I mean, you it's it's a, a full day. By the time you eat lunch and you just go in all the buildings and stuff, um, it's a full day, isn't it? Uh, but it's really great to go in there and say, okay, uh, Thomas Jefferson had walked through here, and and you know what I mean, and the British and everything. It's really cool. Um, Colonial Williamsburg, right? Well, they Ken said they have a ghost walk in Williamsburg, and I also got to be a, a juror on the witch trial. Oh wow. <laughs> I would that like. Fun. I would like to go. Now, I know they have special events there, like during Halloween, and like, you know, I would like to do that. Film the prison in Mansfield, Ohio, where they filmed the Shawshank Redemption. We were out there. We drove. We've by driven it. by Shawshank many well, times. I can see there. it on the outside, and I was fine with it. They have a thing during Halloween. You can go out there, and it's kind of. We, we maybe we'll do that this year. We drove oh. by it going to Castle Noel, which I highly recommend. Guys, got to go see Castle Noel. That was in, fun. Yes. One of the best <laughs> Christmas stops you could do. But um, yeah, I think it's one we could probably maybe do. You know, I have to look to see what their filming policy is there. It seems like these days every place has got a filming policy now, these mm -hmm. days. So you have to like, you know, look and see and then and, and what they might have in that. Um, I'm going to visit Yosemite Sequoia. And Kings uh, and Kings Grand Canyon Parks. Ooh, Deborah, Deborah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's high on our on our bucket list, right? That's like some of the the main things we want to do, and it's amazing. Now, I have been to Yosemite, and I have been to um, Yellowstone. I've been to some of those parks, but I was very young. Uh, we used to, my dad had campers and we always went out camping and had a good time. Hey, Angel yeah, Angel S, how you doing? Hopefully, I imagine you guys are doing well. Uh, I hosted a huge paranormal convention, okay, in the prison. Prison is awesome. I would like to go see it. Uh, I heard it's one of the, uh, you know, Mansfield is one of, one of the more cooler prisons to visit, you know, uh, for tours and stuff. You guys are our in. Okay. You guys are in our neighborhood now. All oh, right, Michelle. Cool. Cool. Um, have you ever eaten or eaten at the, uh, Apple Valley cafe? Yes. We have been there a few times. There's our videos are very old in our, like, you know, they're a few years old, but every now and then we will stop in there and grab a sandwich or something if we're over in Townsend, but we don't always film, you know. Um, Somebody Chip, my wife is 23 years of celebrating her 51 birthday next Saturday. Happy birthday, Chip's wife. Yeah. Give her the goat. The goat. <laughs> also in Mansfield, uh, there's a carousel downtown, right? A very yeah. nice downtown. Um, we got to see it. And uh, we couldn't, we didn't ride the carousel, but I want to go back and, and do that. Um, well, her name is Mary. Happy birthday, Mary. Happy Mary, birthday, Mary. The Mardi Gras is one of the carnival's original ships many years ago. Yellowstone in 19 days, Mike. That's awesome. 
Um, I know a lot of folks are reaching out to us. They want to see some more like nature type videos. You know, I we call them in general nature type mm -hmm. videos. That includes camping, you know, scenery, national parks, all that. And that's coming. That's coming. That we we're excited uh, to announce that we we are going to start doing a lot more uh, nature stuff coming up. So. Uh, Yes, uh, the Mardi Gras was one of Carnival's original ships. That oh, thank you so much, many Rain years Casey. Ago. Okay. I think there's a new Mardi Gras though, Deborah. I think there's like a you know, it's one of their newer ships now. They have one that's that's newer. I think heading down on Friday. Can't wait, Bill says. Um, this Friday, Rod Run, Bill. Rod Run. <laughs> <laughs> you're you'll be good you'll be good a lot of folks freak out about rod run and believe it or not if you're you know if you're not have to be down you know there's a lot to do you can kind of skip around it do things a little more earlier uh, don't do things later on at night around you know the pigeon forge gatlinburg area this card is from yeah oh yes we got some mail if you guys would hold off for a sec with any comments we're going to open some mail here. It's only about three or four cards. It says, wishing you an Easter blessing. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son to the world that we might live through him. And then it says, happy Easter. As the world once more rejoices on this holy Easter day, may you know the peace and happiness is God's love and bring your way. John and Ima, thank you so much. Ima? Ima? It's okay. our. Oh, wow. Ima. Ima. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Beautiful, beautiful car. I'm going to show you guys all. Kind of here. There you go. Wishing you Easter blessings. Yes, we are behind on, on the mail a little bit. Oh, thank you guys. It warms our hearts. Um, oh. Thank you guys so much for all the great comments. You know, yet again this weekend, I had said if there's any blessing from any of this YouTube, is that there is got some of the most great, great people in the world that I have ever met. And that, that's all you all out there. And, and just thank you guys so much. Um, oh. Um, Don, you're crawling. Don, Don, Don is, wow. uh, uh, Don, Don, um, she, Don's a task person. She sees a task and that's cards. <laughs> She's like, let's do the cards, right? It says, dear Don Will, we love your videos, blogs, and chats. Thanks, Don Will, for all the awesome blogs and chats. Thank you always for brightening up our day with an amazing blog and video. It's a bar stream with Cami Jean April. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cami Jean April. This you guys, is like a Thomas Kincaid card, and it just like folds out. Well, like first that. off, thank you so much. Thank um, you so much. And uh, we really appreciate it. You guys always, you guys are always sending cards, and um, oh wow, that is pretty too. Okay. And thank you, thank you. Oops, sorry, well, camera's up here, not there. And, you know, that kind of reminds me of, you know, the cabins here in the Smokies. That is awesome. Oh. Here, let's open it up this way. Look at that. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate you. Um, oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, there. The Lord has risen. Uh, he has risen and lift, looked up for message. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's put it over there. Um, well, thank you so much. Really appreciate that one. <laughs> wow. That person needs Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> okay, let's take it away, Don, please. <laughs> uh, probably a mistake. Let's see here. Um, the Field of Dreams. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's where. Where is the Field of Dreams? Is it in Iowa? It's in Iowa, isn't it? We didn't take the shelves down. We just cleaned it up yeah. a little bit. So what we did was... We went through everything, and like a lot of it was like cups and and coffee mugs and stuff that folks have sent us over the years. So we decided, how about we use these, you know? And we've been drinking a little more coffee lately, so we decided we, we washed it all up, and you know, we put it up in our and, and we have a, a cupboard now 
that's got coffee mugs in it. So we put a lot of that in there. Um, and there was some things there that like were things that we picked up, you know, that we um, we put them in the box boxes and we're still going to put stuff up there. But um, and we got them in boxes. Um, and <laughs> we, we strained it. We neaten, you know, believe it. It, it looks good, though, don't it? What do you guys think? My husband proposed me to at the Iowa. Dreams. That's awesome. Yeah, I would like to go out there. Um, isn't isn't um, Adam out in Iowa or something? I think he's out in Iowa or something. I don't know. I think he is. Maybe he'll go do the Field of Dreams. How far is? I don't know. Iowa's a big state. <laughs> I mean, it's a huge, huge state. I remember driving through it, and it felt like we drove through it. It took forever. I don't know. That was years ago. I was little. Uh, you should go during the summer wear swimsuits and hiking clothes. Go to the sinks, yes. I, I like to go swim at uh, Midnight Hole. There's a video in our library, Punch and Yankee in the South, Midnight Hole. Uh, it's a really good video. We swim around, and it, it's, it's fun, fun place. Um. I enjoy spring break traffic video. Oh, did you? Okay. Uh, it's not always like that, Brian, but uh, <laughs> people enjoy to watch Gatlinburg being packed with folks. Uh, Lisa says, hey, Will and Don, we are here in the Smokies. It's beautiful. And the cars are starting to come in for the rod run. Yes. Lisa, you're here at a good time. It's a little more laid back. Of course, the rods are starting to build up, but they won't get crazy till the weekend, right? Um. You're here at a good time. Weather is going to be great this week. Lisa, you you have hit this nail on the head when it comes to the Smokies. It's beautiful. Try to get up in the National Park when you, if you can. And um, make sure you get your parking sticker if you're going to park for more than 15 minutes. Uh, but if you're going to get out, you know, up there, you know, um, Newfound Gap and take some photos. And as long as you're, you're 15 minutes, you, you don't need a parking pass. Uh, but if you're going to hike or do something, you... Go up to Clingman's Dome or something. You're going to need to park pass. It's only five bucks. Uh, shelves do look good. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, um, I'm. I was hesitant. I liked, but now that we've cleaned and believe it or not, once we cleaned, straightened it up, and um, we a lot of the stuff up there was just things that we like, things that we picked up on our adventures, but not necessarily needs to be on the shelf, right? So I think it worked out pretty well. There's still some things, though, we, we have to um, <clears throat> fix. Hey, what's next, Robert? How you doing? Yeah, Iowa actually stayed with your aunt and uncle as a kid in a farm. You know, when I think of Iowa, I think of farms. You know, I, I guess that's what I think, Iowa farms. Now, I had a, I had a friend I grew up with, and his family was from Iowa. And he always said it was a really really great place so um yes adam is in iowa he is in iowa okay i haven't seen any youtube in a while um every now and then i'll pick up on you know adam's video dawn every now and we'll catch him um i'm probably at least two weeks behind on any anything that jacob has put out i will one day you know, start hitting them here and there, you know, when I get a chance, but we've just been so busy. We are getting ready uh, for some trips coming up, some traveling, and we got a new suitcase to put some stuff in. Um, so that that's exciting. We'll probably make a little video about uh, packing and stuff like that in general. Um, we are planning a possible it's in the final first stages of it, but we're going to do some some 50 states. Don has said, I want, I would like to get back on the 50 states and at least get a couple more states done. So we're going to do that. Um, you you said that what was one of the places you wanted to visit? Um, the Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Don or has. The so <laughs> Don wants to do Black Hills, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just not just Rushmore. It's a lot yeah. there. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, Black Hills and all. So that's where we're rough. Now you guys kind of roughly know where we're going. Uh, up to, you know, Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, the Black Hills area, Mount Rushmore. Goes to Hawaii would be the best. Like Hawaii? 
You know, they have cruises that are I heard it, if you're going to go to Hawaii, the better way to do it would be on a cruise. Uh, we hear all kinds of things. Um, uh, we are hiking at Elkmont on Tuesday. Okay. You know, Lisa, I'm not saying, but we might be at Elkmont Tuesday ourselves. Um, can't wait to get our parking pass. Yeah, you, all you need is a day parking pass if you're only going to be here for a day. Uh, there's a week one if you're going to do a few days in the park. Five bucks. We do have a yearly pass, but I don't suggest that unless you obviously unless you're going to be here for more than so many days. Um, but we might be up there. I, I have some some uh, national park stuff I want to do this week. I, I need to make two videos in the national park this week. So I think Tuesday or is it, Elkmont. Elkmont's where the old the old abandoned town. Uh, there's and yet again that's where the oh. Abbott cabins at too. It's a little bit of a hike in, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Badlands National Golden Badlands National Park and Wounded Knee. Yes. Um, we are t also talking. And this is just thinking out loud. We'll probably go to Yellowstone. So we will be hitting a big chunk of states in the center of this country. Um, we won't be gone like you know, we'll have a day here, we'll have a day here. You know, I think we'll have like one day um in Milwaukee, and then we'll have one day at the Wisconsin Dells, and then you know, so we'll have like a, you know, a few days in each state, you know, just hitting some of the things we've been wanting to hit and suggestions from you guys as well. As well. Um, but the good thing is, is that if we, you know, when we have to get back home. Wherever we're at, we'll just turn around, head back home, and we'll continue on another day. So, yeah. so we're gonna hit as much as we can. Deadwood, yeah, Deadwood, South Dakota, all that up there. Yes, we're gonna. I'm probably gonna spend at least three days in the Black Hills, Deadwood, all that. Um, uh, Crazy Horse, Mount Rushmore, um, yada yada yada. Um, three or four days easily. So, the Crazy Horse Bar, huh? Is that is that is that the um, um, uh, crazy horse bars? What's the crazy horse bar? <laughs> now I know they have like um, what do they call that out there? The, the big motorcycle rallies they have out there. Oh, I forgot. Kevin Costner used to own a casino. Hmm. Um, you did some old time photos in Deadwood. John Wayne's Birthplace Museum in Iowa. Winterset, Iowa. You know, Michael, <laughs> and we had a big conversation this weekend about things that make people, um, that offend people. And unfortunately, every single time I mention John Wayne, I get like tons of people that come in and say, John Wayne is not blah, 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 blah. And they all try to like, you know, and I don't know what's up to these days, but. What's wrong with John Wayne? Well, uh, people say, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it, but. John Wayne was born in Iowa. People are, people get. It's part of history. Well, if John Wayne's John Wayne, man. Yeah. Right. John Wayne. Right. I grew up watching, you know, and, and uh, the thing is, is that people get offended about everything. We were making a video. We were going through uh, Emory's 5 and 10. There was a stand-up of Donald Trump, and people literally lost their minds. I'm like, dude, I can't help that there's a, you know what I mean? It, It's all, you know, I guess people want us to make fake videos. What do you guys think about that? Should we make fake videos on this channel and just cut, just cut everything out, like everything? <laughs> Because so people don't hurt hurt their feelings or something. Wow, I don't know, man. People are just like I don't know. I love the old West history, <laughs> and I know almost everything about yes. the West. And I'll Kevin, tell you what, I will go to John the John Wayne, Wayne awesome. Museum, and I am going to make a video in the John Wayne Museum. And I really John don't care. That's great. I really don't care what anybody says. <laughs> John Wayne is great. I like John Wayne. I like them in the um, Rooster Cogburn. My dad Cogburn, like John right? Wayne movies. Right? The Roost, Rooster yeah. videos, those are good. You know who I really like? Clint Eastwood. <clears throat> I love A Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More. Uh, those are those spaghetti westerns, man. Oh, I love those, too. Those are fun. Those are really fun. 
I don't know. People, gosh, you can't have no fun no more. Everybody's offended about everything, man. Uh, my great uncle worked with John. Oh, wow, Linda. Oh, that wow. is interesting. That is really interesting. Um, That's awesome. I got real emotional when we were at out on Route 66 and we stayed at that hotel. Oh, what was that hotel where John Wayne and yeah. all those stars? What was the name of it? Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, Monroe all of them. I can't remember. Oh, I gosh, it's slipping my mind. That and and the rooms were all named after the different you know the slept the folks that had slept there. I'm saying Don, John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, every you know what I mean. Uh, great has stayed or walked through uh, this hotel, and I for I, and I cannot think for the life of me at this exact moment. <laughs> we <laughs> stayed there. Something that was funny. We stayed there. We actually stayed in that hotel. Yeah, that and was I, nice. Um, what room did we have? Uh, it's on a video. Oh gosh, we had the I can't remember. We didn't have like we didn't have the Ronald Reagan suite or nothing like that, but um it was epic, guys. That is amazing. Uh, isn't no, it's not the Capitol Hotel. I can't recall. Oh my my I'm just it's one of those things where I'm like slipping. Um it's in my root route 66 videos where we stayed. It it'll kick in, it will kick in. You better remember it. Uh, Outlaw Josie, we yes, uh, Josie Wales. You guys need to do another road trip to California. Yeah. Um. Oh, I California. Yeah. Have you found a vintage Smoky Mountains map yet, Will? I got lots of them. Um. Oh. I've got I've got all kinds of like maps and stuff, and Don will tell you. Yeah, he likes his map. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are far things be worse about John Wayne. That's what I was saying. Isn't there like worse things in the world than John Wayne? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think folks are just, I don't know. They're... People haven't been right since COVID, to be honest with you. P things have been very different. Uh, you know, someone was asking me how YouTube. And I said, you know, YouTube is a is a great platform. It was it was an amazing platform. Uh, it, it and then right around COVID, especially after COVID, after you know things started, you know what I mean, kind of opening up. Um, YouTube since COVID has been a cuckoo place. Um, I think the folks that were in YouTube in the beginning are still there. But somehow during COVID, all the cuckoos had started Hi, B. <laughs> had started watching YouTube, and now it's it's a um, and I didn't use this, but someone told me uh, YouTube is now a sport, or it's a um, how do they say, how do they say that? It's not a sport. It's um, it's became like a you know a play place for folks and stuff, and and YouTube has not, and this is my opinion, but YouTube's been hasn't been as fun as it was before COVID um, in general. So, okay. El Rancho. Yes. Thank you so much, Tony 5000. El Rancho. Tony and Nerds on the Go. Nerds on the Go. Of course, Nerds on the Go, you guys are just in Pittsburgh, Mike. I'm, I'm going back. I'm seeing y'all. El Rancho. That's what is her. Um, Yes. Um, that was a really cool place. I highly recommend. You don't even have to stay there. You can just walk around. and, But if you can, stay there. It's out in the middle of New Mexico. Um, and, Happy birthday, um, Dean. But it's a lot of fun. On Route 66. I do not have a framed um, Smoky Mountains map yet, but I am going. I got some maps. I, I'm probably going to end up framing eventually uh, some advertisements too for the studio eventually some you know the put up in his um decor thank you mary joe thank you so much for i i for for the life of me um that yeah it means the ranch i am probably the worst person in the world when it comes to cherokee uh, pronunciation and like um, you know Spanish and everything else, so I'm, I always like messing it up and stuff. Um, 
Hi, nerds on the go. Have we been to Santa Fe? Hi, yes. Cami Bars, Wild Man. Uh, Santa Fe was a really cool place. Kind of pricey when it comes to, like hotels and stuff. Um, or at least that's what it was when we went through. But it was really, really nice. We stayed there at a, at a, at a classic uh, Route 66 hotel. And yet again, I couldn't tell you enough name what hotel that was. I think you guys stayed at the Dana Andrew room. Yes, that's what it was. The Dana Angel room is where we stayed. That's exactly Angel. Angel. So he, he was um, oh gosh, um, I can't remember what movies he played. He wasn't like a crazy huge star, but he's very notable for his time. Um, I can't remember what he what he think. But anyways, that's that was a lot of fun. We also stayed at the Wagon Wheel on. We got to stay in the wigwams, at least the ones in California. That was fun. That's fun. A lot of vloggers had issues because they, they, you know, I guess they, uh, you know, there was a lot of like, you know, talk about the owners there ran off YouTubers. They were, you know what I mean? Um, so I was very hesitant, but I needed to get that hotel under our belts, especially after we, we couldn't get into the one in Arizona. It was booked through for like a week. They had a music festival or something going out there, and it was oh wow for like a week straight. So we couldn't get in there. Nerds on the go said, "Are you going to do Route 66 again for the hundredth anniversary in 2026?" Um, That's something to keep in mind. If I did do something like that, I would I would definitely be game for it. Um, but I would have to do some kind of like crazy channel. I don't know. Something. Do something different like what we did last time. Oh, wow, Tennessee Nate. I went to the New Mexico and saw the jail that Billy the Kid escaped from. Oh, wow. He killed the deputy and the sheriff's there. Wow. Now, Dawn got this. Now, Dawn's a big Billy the Kid yeah. freak. Okay? Aren't you? She is. You yeah. wouldn't think that, right? But Dawn is big about Billy the Kid. Gonna make you famous, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it was because from what movies did you watch? It was the <laughs> we can't think of anything. Well, it's Billy the Young Kid. Guns. Young Guns. Young I love guns. that one. So, one and two. So we're on Route 66. Now, if you know, if you're on Route 66 and you go out to Billy the Kid's grave and museum, that's a drive. That's like a two-hour drive out. Oh, you're going to do it back. again, Nerds on the Go, but the first half of it probably? Are you? I might. I, I'll, I'll look into that. 2026. It's two years away. I would like to do it from end to end again. Yeah. But I would like to do it in reverse this time. From California to yes, because Chicago. You see everything going one way, but, but you, you miss things way. coming the other. You do. You miss things. You know, your eyes doesn't catch the backside of things, right? So I would like to do it in reverse. Mm -hmm. But it'd be cool, like, if we did it in, um, I don't know. Like a, like a Volkswagen or something. I don't know. Something fun. It'd be fun, right? That'd be fun. Something different than we did yeah. last time. That's all I'm saying. Make it different. And there's some things we missed. So we can catch those on the way back. Young Guns is uh, your favorites too, Black Sheep. So we drove all the way out there. Dawn got to see Billy the Kid's grave. Uh -huh. She did. And I'm really big into like England and and history, English history and, you know, history like European history. So when we got down towards um, the border of California, I told Dawn, she got Billy the Kid, which I Billy Kid's pretty cool, by the way. Yeah. But I was going to get the London Bridge. Well, the London Bridge is also kind of off of Route 66 a little bit. So we end up, I end up doing Thank the London so much, Bridge, Mary. right? So that's what it was. Um, and it was a perfect Route 66 trip. Perfect. Uh, 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 uh. That Billy the Kid Museum is pretty interesting, too. Now I want to go to New Mexico and see that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great thing. Wow, the jail that he escaped from. That that sounds like fun. I think if you could you could spend a whole bunch of time trying to um just go around catching like historic places where like, you know, um, another place we need to go to is Tombstone. Everybody says, "Well, he said that it was the best you need to dollar go eighty I ever spent. <laughs> Deputy Bell supposedly had a shotgun loaded with the dimes. Oh wow! Oh what? Yep, yep. Um, here's the kicker: Did Billy the Kid? Did he survive? There's a big controversy. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Yeah. And they said he lived 
you know, because him and the sheriff let him go. Well, and he him, survived and... him and Garrett were friends. Yeah. And the story went that when Garrett got to him, he didn't have the heart. And he told Billy, don't show your face again. They took somebody else's body that was whatever. And they kind of threw it in there, right? Or made it look like whatever. And, you know, said, hey, I got Billy the Kid. And Billy the Kid lived an old life, you know, he lived somewhere yeah. and this guy did claim eventually, hey, I'm Billy the Kid, like on his deathbed, right? Um, yeah, that's really very interesting, interesting, <laughs> interesting story. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet about it. I guess when he was supposed to shoot Billy the Kid, he told him to go. Yeah. And they shot something else instead. Because him and Garrett were yeah. like at one time, you know what I mean? They were, um, or, you know. And way, there's two but... grades for Billy the Kid. One they had Billy the Kid on it, but then a, a, something popped up behind it said Prince Forever. Prince Forever. Like that. So, a very interesting place if you guys ever get out there. Um, New Mexico is a very beautiful state um, in general. Hello from Clarksville, Tennessee. Hello, Misty. How you doing? Tudor history. It's is still there. My you daughter. Can still see the shackles where Billy was chained to the floor. Ooh, ouch. That, that sounds Ooh, like a place to do, like, I think we got to do that. Well, you know, there's a story written about Billy. Billy, the kid, didn't want to be a killer. He didn't want to be that. And it's kind of like he he got cornered. He fought for his life. He killed some folks. And then once he did that, he had to kill folks to stay alive. You know what I'm saying? And I, there was a, an account where Billy I supposedly had said, I didn't want to be this guy. It just took it just went in the wrong direction. Hi, traveling Hoosier. Tennessee Nate said uh, Brushy so. Bill was his name, and he had scars Brush, like Billy exactly. would have had, too. Oh, I heard about wow. the story. It makes it interesting. Just to get the makes mind. You <laughs> it makes you wonder, right? Yeah. I can see Garrett telling him, don't show your face. You're dead, right? You're gone. You're, you know, and he just ran off to San Francisco, right? Interesting story. Um, Young Guns, some of things his favorite. Um, traveling, hi, hey, traveling Hoosier, how you doing? What will your law outlaw name be? Wild Bill, was that taken <laughs> already? Wild Will, <laughs> one eyed Willie, Will the Pill, <laughs> Will the Pill. That's what Dawn calls me. I don't know what my name would be. Um, those are Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, um, anybody got any? I know some folks were saying earlier that you guys uh, had some plans come to the Smokies. Has anybody got anything really cool coming to the Smokies? You guys got it, like a nice cabin, or I know somebody. Uh, some folks are saying that they're going to stay at the Christmas Inn. Uh, is anybody coming here and staying at like uh, Dream More or uh, or Heart Song or? Um... I see that comment. Uh, he did it for his employer, John Tunsil, and he was murdered because of the greed by the Murphy Dulling game. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that what? Yeah. One eyed Willie. <laughs> He's got two eyes and four eyes. Put a patch. Four eyes, right? Willie. Something like that. You're probably referring to the El Ranch. Yes, El Rancho, El Ranch, the Ranch, right? Very interesting place. When I from the Goonies, yes. How about Will and Will and Dangerous Dawn and Scared Already? Linda. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Dangerous Dawn. Oh, wow, Kristen. I'm looking for a cabin for my 10th anniversary in October. Congratulations. Hey, on old Jetfire. I saw the video the other day. Old Jetfire. Uh, he got to meet um, uh, Jay Leno. And I was watching some some old uh, Jay Leno garage videos. And I got to see. I saw the episode. I came across the episode. Wild Will is a good with one. With Jet, Ol's Jetfire. Yep. We always get the Valley Forge and Ben Sanders since 1993. Uh, nice to see you guys after a long day travel. Uh, I had a seven-hour flight delay out of Pittsburgh to Orlando. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Hello, okay. hello, Don Maggie Bailey today at the Buttered Biscuit. Ooh. Ooh Buttered Biscuit is a place that has been referred to us many a times. Uh, that's over in Waynesville, right? Yes, I think that's the one. Or at least that's one of the ones or someone told us to go do. I have, that's the place we need to go check out. Yeah. Here's a question for you all out there. I don't I know we we don't fly very often and we we we've I mean I could probably count on both of my hands uh, as many times I've flown my whole life. 
probably less than that. <laughs> Anyways, um, what is the minimum layover connection? What do you think is the minimum? I mean, I guess it could be all different numbers, but this would be from like a domestic flight. Like say you're flying into Charlotte. Uh, you know, let's say you're flying in from like, let's say Knoxville to Charlotte. Um, what would you consider like the, the shortest layover? Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, one hour, one hour is like, because, you know, the airline will tell you, oh, yeah, an hour is fine. But I'm freaking out. The airline, you know, they're saying, oh, no, an hour, an hour, you'll be fine. You'll make your connections. You'll be fine. Right. Because you're just, you know, it's the same airline. You just got to get off one plane, go, you know, and go to another, you know, um, try to I always try to sit, fly the same airline. That way, you know, it's it's easy, you know, conveyable uh, throughout your whole trip. But one hour, so it's one, one, and, one and a half, two hours. Okay, that sounds good. I just, because I, there's this, there's this thing that I'm working on and it says that it's an hour and 17 minutes. Um, and I know when we went to England, when we flew from Knoxville to Charlotte, we had like an hour and seven minutes and we, and plus our plane was late. I don't know if you guys remember that video, but our plane was like already 20 minutes late. We got, we made it. We were like running. We ran to the gate and they were just loading the plane. Like we, nobody used the bathroom until you got on the plane like that. Actually, we did have a yeah. time. I think you girls did go run and use the bathroom real quick. Uh, but I'm always scared. I'm always nervous about, um, about the connection time um, in there. One hour. So one hour seems about like about it. Okay. Because the airline's telling me, or at least, you know, they're saying an hour's adequate. I'm like. I, I think you guys are nuts. <laughs> I think I need like two hours. They're like, no, you'll be fine. An hour will be like, you know, great. You get your, no problem. Yeah. So hour is fine. Two hours is best. Now I'm with you, Teresa. I would, um, now I do know one thing. If you're flying in from a, say you're flying from England, let's say to Charlotte, you want at least two to three hours because you have to go back through like customs. You got to go through United States customs and you got to get your baggage, you know, and then you got to claim your, you got to claim your baggage and you got to put, recheck your baggage in. So I know when you fly out of the country, you need three hours, at least, I would say at least three hours, even though you're probably only use about an hour and a half of it. Um, by the time you, you know, use the bathroom, grab a little bite to eat or something. You'll be set. Uh, paying, uh, praying for you, Will and Don. Thank you so much, for looking out, man. We really appreciate it. I'm trying to get here. Um, yes, Francis Scott Key. Yes, I heard the Francis Scott Key bridges. Now, have they, Alinda? Have they been able to? Do you guys know? Have they been able to get ships back into the harbor yet? Have they got enough of that bridge out of the way to where they can do that? Does anybody know? I haven't. I haven't seen anything about that. I know there's some cruises that go in and out of there. And I know they've been moving them to different areas. More An hour is more than enough time. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. You really helped me because. I'm back. Don will tell you. Oh, I, you're I, flying to Hawaii on Sunday? Oh, That's wow. awesome. Abraham. Yeah. You know, the thing is, Don and I, Don will tell you, I've been freaked out about an hour layover, right? Yeah. We, we're going to have to get off and run. <laughs> get off and run, right? <laughs> Flying to Hawaii. Yeah, get off the plane and run. Once you make it to your next gate, though, you can slow down as long as you know, like, what's going on. You just got to get there. Uh, are you coming to the Woodward Dream Cruise, Christian? Yeah, I, would I love forgot to. I had laundry in there, and I wanted to get it in the dryer so I can, like, fold it when we get off of here and be done. Um, I forgot I had it. You get into town this Saturday. Okay. You'll be fine. Your dad likes old cars. And it'll only be for a day, Bill. Bill, the, the, the rods, they pack up Sunday morning, and they're already out of here. So they'll be gone. They'll be hitting the road. They don't hang around too too much. Um, I get like that, too. I hate the feeling of being stressed. My biggest thing is that your plane will come in 20, 30 minutes late, and then you'll do the uh, home alone dash. 
you know, the movie Home Alone, or they're running to the mm-hmm. airport, right? You run to the airport and then you run up to the gate. And we did that in England. Yeah. We ran up to the gate and they're like, section two boarding now. And I looked down, I go, oh, we're section two or whatever. We just walked right on. Like, well, no, you, we didn't do that because I knew they had to go through the other section. So the girls wouldn't use the restroom. They came back and then we boarded uh, the final zone or something at the end. So something like that. We always look at the airport terminals map to see how far apart. Yeah, I think that's probably a smart thing to do. Um, um, Christian Forsyth has an, a whole mountain cabin for her 10th anniversary. Gift. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Chris, Kristen, on your anniversary. It sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, do you like American or Allegiant? American is a, I think, is a great airline for like international. I, I've never had a problem. I like, con, I, I'll take it back. Con, Continental. I don't know if Continental even flies anymore. I think they do. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Does Continental even fly? That might, that might eight, tell you my age of, uh, um, but they had a really good flight. I remember going to Ireland on. American was really good. Going to England, I thought they were. Very good. I thought the food was good on the plane. The seats are a little small, but I think that's with any airline. But Allegiant, Allegiant to me is a great, and I mean a great airline for like flying, uh, you know, from city to city. You know, um, we like to fly from Knoxville to Las Vegas. There's a nonstop that goes out of there twice a week or something, and it's very reasonable. You can fly to Vegas and back for like 300 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. And the air the seats are comfortable. They never really like harass you about your baggage too much. Um, they're just pretty cool folks. I've yeah. never um, we've flown them quite a few times, so I do recommend that. Just for the small times, I mean, we flew a little bit. I remember Piedmont Airlines. Sounds familiar, but I don't recall. No more Continental Airlines. Okay, and that well, that shows you when I flew to Ireland, we flew Continental both times. <laughs> that was a long time ago then. Of a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, American to me was okay. I was okay. Nope. American, Delta, and Southwest are, are the big three in the United States. Okay. Um, remember Pan Am? I remember like the bombings and stuff. I think it's what you know, and of course, they were what, one of the first airline that started pretty much all this, right? You love flying Value Jet TWA. I remember it. Uh, Spirit, you remember the Spirit of St. Louis? <laughs> uh, isn't that uh, um. Oh, gosh, what's his name? It flew around the um, world. Thinking of Egypt for the 20... Are you thinking... You're, so, Poss, you are thinking of Egypt for the uh, the 27 clips. I actually was looking at the pattern of clipses on the planet. And I told Dawn, I said, did you know in, 20, in 2027, there is going to be an eclipse in Egypt? The Great oh, wow. Pyramids. There'll be something to see. Now, the one thing I will say is you better book that now. <laughs> because <laughs> I want to go in 2027. The prices are probably, you're probably not going to find nothing. Uh, I think it's 2027, right? I think it's 2027. You better book all that now. <laughs> um, that would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> uh, two times, uh, two times you've flown out of Delta. Out of Detroit. Now, Delta, I, I enjoy Delta. We flew out of Detroit. Of course, Delta being the big hub in Detroit, I think that's where the mm-hmm. most of the planes are. We flew to Vegas. Uh, we flew to other um, um, other places, too. I can't recall. Um, and Delta was good, too. We flew um, Air Mexico out of, out of um, Detroit to Cancun. And Air Mexico was a really good airline. I thought it was pretty cool. We flew, we flew that too, Air Mexico. Um, 
Anybody got any great flight um, uh, plans? Like, I like hearing from you all. Like, I like uh, you guys uh, excite me when um, you know you guys talk about your, you know, all the things you guys got going on. Hi, Christopher. Love you guys. My girlfriend is a huge Don fan. She, it's her birthday. Her name is Brandy. Can you shout her out? Happy birthday, Brandy. Happy birthday, Brandy. <laughs> Happy birthday. Wow. Uh, Rod says he just wants to say thank you for all you do. Well, thank you so much, Rod. We really appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you all so much out there. You guys, the support, um, you know, the warm uh, the warm warmness you guys give us is, is amazing. And, um, um, we're just, we're just flabbergasted you know, over the whole thing. Uh, depends on the airport. Well, that's what I was thinking. Gary, you're right. Depends on the airport. Like St. Louis, he says it's terrible. Chicago, Denver. Um, yeah, I think the airport that I'm looking at, they say is one of the most easiest airports to get around. So, you know what I mean? It's a big airport, but it's, it's probably one of the well, most well-designed airports. Um, I th even the airport says that um, 45 minute connections are usually not a problem. Interconnections are not a problem. So, um, and they say you usually have time to spare. So that's good to know. Um, let's we'll go to Hawaii and meet dog, the bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. Um, we were at, I was at a, uh, a comic con years ago and dog was there. I didn't get his photo. I didn't get it, you know, uh, but I remember seeing him from a distance and he looks like dog, the bounty hunter. Charlotte airport could be a nightmare for connections. Yeah. Anything else, Don? Oh, uh Anything going on? They're going to, Janie said they're going to go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. Didn't your didn't your cousin uh, Dave, Dave went, go to Amsterdam? Yeah. You guys are every year. T-shirts in the south. Hey, hey, Rick, how you doing? Dean, it's Colette uh, and Pete's hey, Colette. Rose's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Dean and Colette. Or Pete <laughs> and Pete. Uh, thumbs up, everybody. Thank you so much, Melanie. People um, are saying good night. People are saying good night. <laughs> we had a great time in Bloomington for the eclipse. Yeah, so how'd you guys do? How'd everybody? Um, I saw some of the most amazing uh, total eclipse um, videos and um, and uh, and pictures. Um, and it seems like a lot of vloggers were out there in in the in the path and all that it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, Kristen says, "How's your sister doing? We've talked to She's Denise doing earlier. Good. Yeah. We have a little meetup hopefully coming soon with Denise. Uh, Denise is going to get a package from us tomorrow, yeah, right? Yeah, I sent her out a, a, uh, out a happy package, out of a package, <laughs> out of a happier. Yeah, um, I don't even see him in here tonight or uh, tomorrow. I love you package, right? Yeah." Uh, my flight plans are to stay on the ground. I can respect that, uh, Brian. I prefer, in, in in most cases, to drive. So you know, it'd be very easy for us to fly from Knoxville. There's like tons of flights that fly nonstop, cheap ones that fly out of Knoxville to a bunch of airports, especially a Legion. A Legion has got like four or five airports in the state of Florida, you can fly out of or into um, Knoxville. And it'd be so much, I told Dawn's like, Oh, happy anniversary, Lisa. Hey. 46 years. Oh, wow. Happy anniversary. And it'd be so much easier for us just to, you know, it could be easier to jump on a plane and then catch a cruise, right? Yeah. Um, but Dawn likes to know, I like to drive. We like to stop in Savannah or, uh, or you know, wherever. I like stopping off at the uh, Welcome Center in Florida and getting orange juice and I do like to drive. I do like to stay on the ground. Um, but sometimes you just can't help it. Like, you know, there's no roads heading to England or no roads heading to Europe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, things like that. You saw the partial eclipse here in Illinois. Did you, did you, did you, you got to see that, Ron? I'm glad. I'm so glad you did. 
ha Smoky Mountain Man, happy early birthday. Happy birthday, Smoky Mountain Man. Early birthday. What's your thoughts of them changing Lakeside Mall? Are they going to be changing Lakeside Mall? Rose, Rose, are they going to be changing Lakeside Mall into a... I haven't heard nothing. Uh, that's where I grew up. That was the mall that we hung out at was Lakeside. Um, big mall at that. It's a Tubman, an old Tubman mall. And funny story, or not a funny story, but a story I have is that I have a relative of mine who used to be good friends with um, uh, Mr. Tubman, you know, the, the, the great mall. Um, um, I don't even want to call him the kingpin of malls or something. Um, and uh, so it was kind of an interesting story. I always heard, like, he he's kind of a, a, you know, he had, like, fancy paintings and houses and, and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, that's a long, that's a whole long story there. Um, Could be 83 that. to Pete Rose today. Um, Lee Simmons. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. He says, my wife and I love your videos and we have watched, um, we watched since that, since we were dating. Oh, wow. Um, we are moving to Tennessee next year and we should look in Sevierville and Maryville. Maryville is an amazing town, amazing area. I have a lot of friends live there. It's a great place to raise a family and all that. It's beautiful. Blount County is an amazing, amazing place. Mm -hmm. Sevier County is amazing also. Um, of course, the tourism, a little more touristy here. But if you stay in Sevierville and you kind of work your way around, uh, Maryville to me is a little closer to Knoxville. So, you know, you know, um, you got all that there too. And, and Knoxville is a really great small city. Um, you know, Turkey Creek and all that is, is, is really a great place. So, yeah, um, you, you're not going to go wrong. Um Either or, Lee, but thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And when you get to town, when you move here, reach out to us. Say, hey, we're here. Um, I know we got a, uh, there's a bunch of folks that have moved here in the last year or so. And we and I haven't, we haven't been able to meet up with everybody yet. So I think we're going to try to work on something coming up. Uh, I know there's some folks that we've been saying, hey, we want to meet up. And we just haven't got uh, to it. So, uh, but yes, definitely reach out. And thank you. Uh, do you like baseball sports? I, I do. Baseball is probably the biggest sport that I follow, but it's, I haven't followed any sports in a long time. Um, I went to the, the World Series back in uh, 2006, was it? I went to the World Series back in 2006, was it? One of those, when the Tigers went and got their butts um, handed to them by Texas, I believe. It's been a while. I used to go to playoff games and I used to be a you know really big um I still am like Detroit Tiger fan. I just don't know what's going on. Uh, Mag uh Maglio, uh all those guys back in the day. I used to watch I used to go to uh, uh, Tiger Stadium in Detroit, the old Tiger Stadium, and watch uh, um Lou Whitaker and, and Alan Trammell and all those guys play ball down there and uh, Cecil Fielder. You guys remember Cecil Fielder? He was like real big, he hit the 52 home run or Whatever, 51 home runs, whatever it was, 52 home runs. <laughs> that was a long time ago. The big grocery cart and Don cut a dear. Don did. She did. That was when we went to it the, the ADLS. Back there somewhere. Back there. The Derek Jeter ball. Came off of Max Serger, I believe. Off his, uh, off his, uh, he touched it. That's what Don says. He touched it. And he's got two different color eyes like you did. Yeah. Oh, does he? Is that the one I got yeah. to go for? Oh, yeah. wow. Was it? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It was Mac, Max Serger it came off of. Too bad I couldn't get him to sign it. Uh, well, you probably could. He's probably out there in a baseball card collecting show somewhere. Yeah. You can probably find him and see about getting it signed. I had to take it with me. Um, sports vlog would be fun. Just to see. Um, when we go back up to Detroit, I got a friend who's a big Tiger. He's a Tiger fanatic. He has. He also owns a big company up there in, in Detroit. A, a big. Uh, a big company. That's all I'm gonna say. The big company, and they have a they have suite. They have a suite at the at the stadium, and uh, I'll reach out. I'll ask if um, usually he's got seats, you know, available, um, or he's you know maybe there'll be something you know uh, if he doesn't have clients or or whatever in him, maybe I can ask. You know, if not, we'll just get. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a suite, right? Yeah, it'd be kind of an interesting vlog. I don't know. I would like to have some friends up there. Um, 
the, you know, I like to get with and go to the ball, go to the ballpark together. And hotel is almost finished. Anything else, Don? Patrick says that he would like to see a, uh, a Mississippi cruise. Um, yeah. Detroit pizza. Buddies. I think people are starting to say goodnight. People are starting to say goodnight. Uh, where are you guys going tomorrow? I, I have some things I'm going to do tomorrow, uh, but not 100% sure at the moment uh, what we're going to do. I know I have to edit a video uh, tomorrow, either probably in the morning or probably in the morning. I'm gonna edit I it. saw a total eclipse in the junkyard. <laughs> Mississippi Cruise is big bucks. Well, that's what I, I mean, I, I haven't really dug deep into it, but from what I've kind of seen, they look very expensive. No, it's not too late, Abraham says. He wants us to go <laughs> longer. Y'all should do an Amtrak. You know, I did look into the, um, oh gosh, the, Scar the Starliner, the Scarves. The one runs from Chicago to San Francisco. You know, they have the overnight, like, um, suites and stuff. I did look at it. It's a little pricey. Uh, actually, I think, I think it's like 1000 bucks a person or something. Starliner, Starliner, I forgot the name of it. Silver Streak. Anyways, I have looked into them a few years back, but they were, uh, they were pr pricey. But, yes, that would be an amazing, it'd be an amazing vlog, too, like, it would it would be a, like well, you know what I mean? It would turn out. It would be a great good thing because there's so much to see and do. <coughs> um, we did a flight a few years ago that visited every continent in five days. Wow. There's a YouTuber I watch every now and then. I can't think of his name right off the bat. Maybe I'll. His name is Sam. No. His name Simon. He he does these challenges. I don't know if you guys have seen him. Uh, oh gosh, I'd have to. Simon Wilson. Simon Wilson on YouTube. He's a pretty big YouTuber. Um, he does these challenges where he he visits. You know, um, he goes to every continent in the world. He. Oh, I know. What you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's an English feller. A feller. I think he's actually from Wales, if I'm not mistaken. I could be. Anyways. Um, very, very good vlogs. Um, do you guys want to be entertained? And especially if you like world travel, uh, he's really interesting. He kind of inspires you. It's like, okay, well, let's go backpacking the world, right? That's what he kind of gets you. Kind of gets you your juices flowing. Uh, I, I, um, the Zephyr, that's what it's called. Yeah, the Zephyr. Um, that's an Amtrak train. Yes. Um, that the, he's really cool. Um, and he kind of inspires you to like, you know, see the world and all that. But Chip says good night. Well, thank you so much, Chip, for joining in tonight. I really appreciate you. Yes, that is the uh, the peach uh, from South Carolina. It's a picture. Where is it? It's back there somewhere. A friend of ours had taken that. Uh, I imagine the name, her name, or their name. And there was a couple. I remember. I remember a couple. Uh, given that, that they lived there in South Carolina. It might even be, I don't know. And yes, right there. And uh, I have seen that. I thought we've seen that from a distance. You know, we have not seen that personally yet. Oh. We need to go there. We have not seen that. We saw, what water tower did we see that was shaped as something? It was somewhere, I can't recall. Uh, Rohaw River is coming out of its banks. Oh, wow. It's been raining up there, uh, Brian, like a lot. I love taking trains. I love trains. I, I just, I love them. Um, I saw the first um, home run hit out of Comerica Park. And he did job, Drew, by Juan Gonzalez. Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in, in a while. Somebody said that Maglio Ordona, Ordone, Ordonez, ah, I can't say his name. Um, he was still out there in the ball world, or he or he just retired or something like that. But he's been playing ball for many years. 
Like he he had a really um and then Justin Verlander is he still, I have to look him up. I don't know if Justin Verlander. Have a good name around Poodle Mom. I know he was playing with like Texas the last time I knew or Houston or something. Um what is this the subscriber giveaway? Um, we got some pretty cool stuff this time. You have to wait and st stay out. Well, I'm gonna try to announce it this week, but I gotta be perfect how I plan it because I got some things coming up and I don't want to be uh on the road or something and have to deal with you know what I'm saying. I want to be able to make sure we can do it. So it might happen this week. Stay tuned. Uh just you know, uh our upcoming videos that are being released, you know. Uh, there might be something in there or something like that, and we'll tell you how to do it. There'll be two of them, and they'll happen. Um, there'll be one video to enter for both, but there will be two different. They'll be they'll both be drawn on the same day or the same. You know, we normally draw on a Sunday, but there'll be two different prizes. We'll pick. You know, what have you? Something have like a that. good night, Smoky Mountain Man. But we are going to say good night to y'all. Um, have a good night, Ray Marie. Twenty five thousand. Thank you all for coming out tonight. We really appreciate y'all. There are no bugs in Iowa. <laughs> there ain't. Oh wow, that's the place I need to be then. Y'all are so close to a hundred thousand. Yeah, we're gonna get there. All in time. Uh, how do you like Silver Dollar City? I love Silver Dollar City uh, compared to Dollywood. They both have their uniqueness. Okay. Has anyone else's uh, YouTube layout changed? I no longer have the stuff below in the video. Ken said, Ken S. Uh -huh. I don't know. Anyone else have YouTube layout changed? No, I don't think so. Huh. YouTube's been doing some weird stuff. Um, uh, Silver Dollar City, Dollywood. They're, 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 there's a lot of slim similarities and there's a lot of differences. It's hard to com compare the two parks. Uh, the one thing I will say is Silver Dollar City has got steeper pathways right and it's a little more difficult to to navigate compared to dolly well thank you so much r n y e seven seven um anyways uh, oh by the way guys a, a lot of folks have been reaching out to us lately and they've been saying that youtube has unsubscribed them so if you guys get a chance all your you know check out your subscriber boxes and make sure you're subscribed to your favorite uh, youtubers out there because supposedly uh, not just us too, but there's some other YouTubers that we know have been saying the same thing. And a lot of folks have been saying, hey, Will, I haven't gotten any of your notifications. Are you guys even doing YouTube anymore? I'm not sure. I'll and, try and put some videos out. And so you know, make sure you're subscribed to your um, you know, your favorite YouTubers. How far is Kate's Club from Pigeon Forge? Michelle wants to. Uh, we did that once. Remember we count? Is it 40 yeah, minutes? I think so. It's like 40, 45. Dawn did a video where we 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 stopped. Well, we 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 left Pigeon Forge. We hit it. We hit the clock. I think it's forty five minutes. Was it? Yeah. With with I don't think there was much traffic. I think it took us forty five minutes. Um, and that was with like no traffic. So if you have traffic, it's busy. You better add at least another twenty minutes or 10, 15, 20 minutes on that. But we did that. I remember it depends doing depends on that. what the traffic is like. Something yeah. like that. That was a long time ago too. We used to do videos like that, like how long does it take to get there? We used to cruise the strip and put the camera out the window. And, um, you know, we just do a lot of, like, things like that. Just, I don't know. Uh, good night, everybody. Well, thank you so much, L. Rose. Guys, thank you guys all so much out there. Really appreciate it. Tony 5000. Um, hopefully you forgive me for making fun of you um, being Cal Ripken. I do know you're, you are better. I will say, though, Tony 5000 is – better he's more sexier than um than cal ripkin just saying but i'll probably I'm, I'm assuming that cal ripkin's pro ripkin's probably got more uh more lit i don't say ladies he's a married guy i don't know he you know he's probably better at baseball than you i'm assuming <laughs> well we're gonna start saying good night all right guys we're gonna say good night guys thank you guys we love you we will Have see you guys in this video yeah, thanks to all of our moderators out there astronaut dreamer and we will see you guys uh, in, next Sunday. I think next Sunday we'll see you. Good night, everybody. 730. New time, 730. We love you. We'll see you guys then. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.